Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Prime Minister Andrew Holness left Jamaica this morning for the United States to visit former Prime Minister Edward Siaga, who is in hospital. Siaga, who is 88, has been seeking medical attention in Miami for two chronic illnesses and complications associated with them. National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang was unscathed, but two of his bodyguards received minor injuries in a motor vehicle crash this morning at the intersection of Shortwood and Grand Spen Roads in St. Andrew. A spokesperson said they were en route to the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston, but did not disclose the cause of the crash. Prime Minister Andrew Holness says the government will be allocating additional funds to truck water to corporate area communities. It's part of a response plan to ease the water crisis, with the Mona Reservoir almost empty and the NWC meeting 37 million gallons a day of the 63 million gallons needed for Kingston and St. Andrew. The police are reporting that 49-year-old Owen Chung of Taylorland, nine miles in St. Andrew, who went missing last Friday, has been found dead in his community. The police say Chung's decomposing body with gunshot wounds was found about 5.30 Tuesday afternoon in a shallow grave. In sports, Waterhouse defeated 10-man Rail Hope of Haiti 2 nil in the second round of games in the Flow CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championship at the Stadium East Field yesterday. In your currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $136.25, the British pound sterling for $180.28, and the Canadian dollar for $101.50. In your weather forecast, on Thursday morning, there will be partly cloudy skies across eastern parishes. In the afternoon, expect scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms over central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.